Before we start our lesson, let us first pray. Bow our heads, close our eyes, and focus on Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Thank you for the day that you have gathered us to have this lesson. Bless our teachers na maituro po nila ang iyong word sa amin with the guidance of your Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, to understand your word for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi kids! Narito na naman po si Teacher Faith para maghatid sa inyo ng isa na namang exciting at punong-puno ng aral mula sa ating Bible. Our Bible reference is at Matthew 7 verses 24 to 27. Bago tayo magsimula, sagutin niyo muna ang tanong na ito. 
If given a chance to transfer to a new house, would you prefer a big house or a small house and why? I want big house because it's where we have enough space for my friends. Then all oh, these friends are can play around with puppets. Oh. It looks like this. What do you want Kuya Aaron? How about you kids? Oh, I can hear different answers. Well, big or small, I want you to wear your helmets because today you are gonna learn a story about building a house. It is entitled, The Wise and the Foolish Builders, presenting the two builders, Mr. A and Mr. B. Nagahanap sila ng lugar kung saan magpapatayo ng kanilang bahay. Mr. A already had an instruction manual while Mr. B copies his own manual and hopes to go to build a house. Sa manual ni Mr. A, may mga bagay na sinasabi kung ano ang mga dapat at ang mga hindi dapat gawin. Si Mr. B naman ay nagsimula ng magtayo ng kanyang bahay sa buhangin or sand kung saan ay sinasabi sa book ni Mr. A na hindi dapat pagtayuan ng bahay. Pero, dead man lang itong si Mr. B. Even if Mr. A tells him that it's wrong and that his house might be destroyed. Anyway, Mr. A starts to search for a land with a stone foundation and luckily, he found some. Nagsimulang maghukay si Mr. A para masiguradong matibay ang foundation ng kanyang bahay. They have a coming visitor, but Mr. A just finished digging. And as he goes to grab his tools, he sees Mr. B. Whoa, Mr. B is really fast. Now, I wonder who this guy will praise. Nung makita niya si Mr. B, nag-congratulate siya dito kasi tapos na ang kanyang bahay. But Mr. B's house is on unstable ground. And so, it forms holes. Kailangan niyang itago ang holes. Plaster it maybe, nobody will see it. Plaster some more, plaster and plaster. Well, that's how their day went. The next day, Mr. B is already painting his house. He is fast, isn't he? Pero si Mr. A ay naglalagay pa lang ng bricks. Naglalagay na ng pinto. Oh, Mr. B's house has some cracks already. Well, just hide it with a pot. Pinagsabihan siya ulit ni Mr. A. You must build it on stony ground. But Mr. B said, Your work is very less done. I must keep it my house this way. Sa gitna ng init ng araw, nagtrabaho ng maigi si Mr. A. Habang si Mr. B ay meron ng sunroof at nag-e-enjoy na siya sa kanyang lemonade. Mr. A is working really hard. Mr. B just wanna have fun. Let me throw some stones on there. Another one. Another one. Oopsie! That hurts. Matapos na ni Mr. A ang kanyang pinto at pwede na siyang pumasok sa kanyang bahay at magpahinga. Mr. A got the job well done. But that night, there seems to be a disturbance in the weather. There was thunder and lightning, and the clouds seemed heavy. Nagsimulang umulan at mabilis na nasira ang bubong ni Mr. B. And the water began to flow from out of nowhere. His house was destroyed, and since it wasn't built on rock but on sand, nang tumaas ang tubig, Ma-washed out na rin ang sand kung saan nakatayo ang bahay ni Mr. B. Dahil ang sand ay hindi isang matibay na foundation. Mr. B lost his house overnight. Now, morning came and Mr. A is just ready to get off his bed. Go up in the window, take in some fresh air, and he sees his neighbor's house destroyed. Okay ka lang ba? We need to follow instruction. You know, here's the book. Binasa ni Mr. B ang instructions and he finds out that it is the Bible. It is an instruction on how you're go we are going to build our lives. This story tells us that, therefore, 
anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man built his house on the rock. It is through our actions that we become like the wise person. Hello kids! Oras na naman para sa ating object lesson. Our object lesson for today is entitled, Build on the Rock or Sand. Meron ako ditong dalawang bahay na magkaparehas. Here is a bunch of sand. And here are the rocks. Tingnan natin kung anong mangyayari kung dumating ang isang malakas na storm. Just like these two houses which are look alike, we sometimes compare ourselves to others. Pero hindi ito ang itinuturo ni Jesus. Jesus is after our foundation. Ilagay natin ang ating houses, isa sa sand at ang isa ay sa rock. At darating na ang storm. Whoa! See what happened? to the two houses look what's happening in the house and the sand it's gone it is demolished natumba na ang bahay but the house and the rock still stands maayos pa rin itong nakatayo I explain ko ulit ito sa inyo the house on the rock is built on god's word the bible what are you building your life on are you building it on the bible or are you building it to this? TV, social media, cell phone, gadgets, and the world. Kids, build your house on the rock. Ibig sabihin nito, sinusunod mo ang sinasabi sa Bible to understand that Jesus loves you and His plans are good for you. Tayo ay magtiwala sa promises ni God and have hope. Minsan, nahihirapan tayo. But we need each other and we have each other to pray for us and trust God to help us. Again kids, where are you building your life on? Hello kids, my name is Teacher Judah. Ngayon napakinggan na natin at narinig na natin ang story na binagi sa atin ni Teacher Faith. Ngayon tutungan na tayo sa lesson application. Handa na ba kayo? Ay, handa na kayo? In this parable, Jesus teaches us that true wisdom comes from trusting God and His Word. But, what is true? Wisdom means God's wisdom is a blessing from God to help us apply knowledge. God wants us to know His wisdom so we can apply knowledge. That's what? Wisdom does it helps you make wise decisions that are beneficial for you and others. Can be intelligent or educated, but lack wisdom, your education or intelligence may only be in vain. Yes, an intelligent person could earn more fame, money, and fortune but wise one could earn more friends, honor, and God's favor. Remember kids that there is higher wisdom and understanding than people possess. This is wisdom from God. It is unlike anything that can be found naturally in the world, but it comes only from God. You know what? You can ask Him for this wisdom and learning by spending time reading in His Word and asking Him for guidance.
Hello kids! Ngayon naman ay tutungo na tayo sa ating memory verse. Ang memory verse natin ngayong linggo ay Proverbs 3 verse 13. Happy is the person who finds wisdom and gain understanding. Again, Proverbs 3 verse 13. Happy is the person who finds wisdom and gain understanding. Hello kids, it's craft time. Ito ang mga materials dapat natin gamitin. Una, band paper. Pangalawa, scissor. Pangatlo, pencil. Pangapat, ruler. And panglima is crayons. Step 1, kumuha ng band paper. At tupin nito sa gitna. At doon ang ganito, guys, si teacher ha? para hindi malito. Ayan, makagawa na tayo ng band paper at pinupin natin ito sa gitna. Pangalawa naman, kukuha tayo ng pencil and ruler para kumuha tayo ng line sa magkabilang gilid. Kids, nakagawa na tayo ng line sa band paper. Pangal pangatlo naman ay kukuha tayo ng scissor para gumitin na ginawa nating line sa magkabilang milen. Paalala kids ha, pagpagamit tayo ng scissor, nandiyan dapat si ate, si kuya, si nanay, o si tatay para hindi tayo mapahamak. Ayan kids, nagupit na natin ang ating ginawang line sa band paper. Ang susunod naman na ating gagawin ay kupiin ulit sa magkabilang dulo katulad ng ganito. Ganyan sa picture ha, para hindi malito. naman kids na ating gagawin ay ibaba natin ito ang magkabilang side katulad ng ganito ganyan ulit si picture ah, para hindi malito ayan kids na ibaba na natin ang magkabilang side ang susunod naman na ating gagawin ay tapiin naman ito ang kabilang side na sinupi natin kanina. Pababa rin sa kids, ha? Ayan. Ang gawa na natin siya, kids. Wow! Ano kaya gagawin natin dito, kids? Kids, after that, kumuha naman tayo ng pencil para mag-drawing ng ganito. Nanan! Ayan, kids. Nakagawa na tayo sa band paper at nakadrawing na tayo. Ang susunod naman na ating gagawin ay kumuha tayo ng color para mag-color o ikolora natin ang ating nagawa o ating na-drawing. Guys, si teacher ha. Tenen! Ayan kids, na-color na natin ang ating ginawa na bahay. Ayan kids, tapos na tayo sa ating craft time for today. Pwede nyo rin siya lagyan ng pangalan o memory verse natin ngayon. Tingin nga kids na gawa nyo? Wow! Very good! And now, it's time for our closing prayer. Okay, close your eyes, bow your head, and focus in Jesus. Lord, thank you for today na sinamahan mo po kami sa aming lesson. We pray, Lord God, that we will apply this in our lives. That, Lord, we will continue to seek you at basahin po ang Bible to have the wisdom para gabayan kami sa aming buhay. Protect us, O Lord. We pray, Father God, 
In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh oh, I haven't seen you lately. Oh, classmates, it's time to say goodbye. It's the end of our Sunday school today. Make sure you come to Sunday school next week again, classmates. See you next Sunday. Goodbye. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me, goodbye, see you next time.